everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to my spring summer wardrobe switchover video i'm very very excited to be filming this video i've wanted to do it for a little while but the weather has just been a bit all over the place here in the uk we've had quite a bit of rain and it's been a little bit chilly so i've wanted to sort of keep my coats and my knitwear out for a little bit longer but it's actually easter monday today it's the 18th of april so this is a good time to do it i normally do it at the beginning of april but obviously now i'm more in the middle of april um it's actually a really nice sunny day today so i'm a bit gutted to be stuck inside but it needs to be done so if you guys have watched my wardrobe switchover videos before you will know kind of how it works and what i do but i will just kind of give you a brief introduction into it if you haven't seen one of these videos of mine before so this is obviously my bedroom i am not lucky enough to have a walk-in wardrobe i do however have fairly big double wardrobes here and i have quite a lot of storage over here here and here so my wardrobe really is the main issue it's kind of messy at the moment um very messy actually especially the shoe section also ignore my nails one broke off um and it looks very very ugly so yeah this is the first half it's kind of a mix of everything at the moment a lot of knitwear here um shirts a few dresses my dog walking coat at the front here and then this side is trousers blazers coats and jackets Obviously most of these will be packed away because I do not need them. Only a few kind of lighter weight trench coats perhaps I'll keep out. So yeah, the wardrobe is the main issue. So I will go through that first. I tend to just take everything out and pop it all on the bed and then sort through it. So because I'm doing this switch over, it means that I obviously have to store half of my clothes for half of the year. So this is what I use these vacuum bags i just bought these off amazon i do already have quite a few but some of the seals on them have gone a bit funny so i thought i'd buy some new ones in preparation for this video and then i just pop them in clear boxes and they go in the eaves as my bedroom is already in the loft we have eaves out on the landing so i just pop all the vacuum bags in clear plastic boxes in the eaves so if i do really need to get to something it's quite easy to just get it out so the other bit of storage that i have here is this big chest of drawers by my bed the other side is mostly kind of underwear hair stuff but i do have a drawer here of tops which is very messy i need to sort through this it's mostly kind of basics like vest tops body suits and then my denim drawer here is kind of overflowing so I need to go through that. I think there's quite a few pairs of jeans that I will be adding to my Depop page. And then as far as this chest of drawers goes, um, this is just kind of jumpers and shorts, a weird combination. But this is the only drawer in here that I've got clothes in and it's fairly organized but I will go through it because I think some of these jumpers I don't really wear that much anymore. And then finally, excuse me, people's dog bed under this chest of drawers. This I purchased quite recently, you will have seen in one of my vlogs. I was just so desperate for space so I Pick this up from Ikea, obviously matches the other big black unit, but just a smaller version. In the top here, I can't even open it because it's so full. I have a kind of loungewear sets. A few in here I think I will be adding to Depop. Um, and then the bottom two drawers are matching tracksuit sets. A little bit of space in there. Um, I love a matching tracksuit. So that's kind of a little rundown of the situation. At the moment, I'm going to get all my summer stuff out of the eaves, unbox that, and then take everything out of my wardrobe. I'm also going to try today to take pictures of everything that I want to add to my Depop and get that up for you guys today. I was using Relike to sell a few of my bits but it is just quicker for me to do it myself and now I have a lot more free time so I have been adding to my Depop a lot more often so I will obviously leave that linked down below for you guys if you want to check it out, if you spot anything here in this video that you like. But yeah, I'm going to get on with it. I poured myself a glass of water. I think this is going to be a very long day. So these are the three boxes um, with all my summer stuff in. So this one, as you can see, is shoes, like sandals and stuff. Um, this one I've obviously just packed loosely because obviously summer stuff just takes up so much less room than winter stuff because I'm going to have to pack away all my coats which are going to take up so much more room. Um, I've obviously used a vacuum bag in this box and then just popped in a few loose bits. Uh, I'm getting excited because I can see some things that I forgot about um, but I also have in these boxes is some like 
real kind of festive stuff, like some sequiny bits, my Nadine Murabi like feathered pajamas because I know I don't want to get rid of them, but I just know that I'm not going to be wearing them right now. I even knew that obviously after Christmas because I've packed them away. So I've got to find room for all that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, like I said, first things first, just going to get everything out of the wardrobe that I want to pack away. I think I'm going to leave the stuff in there that I know I'm going to keep in there for the summer. Um, so all coats and stuff I'm going to get out and put them on the bed and then I will go through these boxes and add in what I want to keep because I'm sure there'll be some stuff in here that I've changed my mind about that I want to get rid of. So stuff that goes on the bed is going to be going into the clear boxes and then I'm going to have a pile somewhere over here for stuff that I need to add to Depop. So this is the situation so far, a hot mess basically. So this giant pile here is stuff that needs to be packed away. I haven't actually been through shoes yet so I need to do shoes in the wardrobe. These are the summer shoes and a few bags that I am putting in the wardrobe. This giant pile here is everything that I'm going to put on my Depop. Loads of summer bits as well like some summer sandals. Um, some really nice Zara heels. I've literally never worn these. Some more heels, um, a lovely white plissé set, pink suit, blazers, dresses. There's loads there. So I'm going to add all of that later. That's going to be the last job if I even get around to doing that today. This is, like I said, kind of like party wear stuff that I just know I'm not going to wear in the summer but that I don't want to get rid of. This stuff, this very small pile here, is stuff that I am going to donate to like a textiles, what do you call it, um, bank type thing because they're clothes that are not good quality enough to sell or give to charity but obviously I don't just want to put them in the bin. I have a couple of pairs of shorts here that I'll put in that drawer once I go through them and then these are some sarongs that I found that will go in my drawer here which has got bikinis in. And this pile down here is the summer stuff that I've taken out of the boxes that I'm going to pop in the wardrobe. So I'm going to do that now and then I'm going to go through the shoes in my wardrobe and pack the winter shoes away. So I'm more hot and bothered and feeling a little exhausted. So the Depop pile is growing ever bigger. As I'm looking through stuff, I just keep thinking, I've not worn that in ages. I'm just keeping it for the sake of it. So hopefully a lot of this stuff will sell. Still not tackled this big pile yet, but the wardrobe is looking far more organized, which is good. The shoes are looking good. So in here I've popped sandals. I've got most of them in like little dust bags. Um, just to keep them looking nicer because I'm so bad at just literally chucking my shoes in the wardrobe and then they get damaged. So I always keep these little Zara dust bags to keep some of them in. Clothes are looking nice and organised and look at that huge space that I have at the end, which I'm sure I will fill. I gained a helper as well. Hello you. Have you come to help? Or hinder? And then yeah, trousers, skirts, blazers, jackets along here. We've got trainers down here. I've kept a couple of pairs of boots as well just because... You never know. So next up I'm just going to tackle the drawers. So I've got this drawer which is just a mixture of everything. And then the tops and the denim to go through as well. time to seal the vacuum bags so I've put some stuff in this one which is an old one um, that I had before which requires a hoover this however is a new one and it actually came with a pump so I'm gonna give it a go I've sealed it and then I think I just twist that on and suck the air out so I'm gonna see how well that works whether I'm able to get a bit more air out of that and then hopefully this bag will fit in this box I might even be able to get a couple of the coats folded on top this is only a small box here because I had to use the big one for all my winter shoes because the boots were just too big to fit in that small box so 
So in terms of putting clothes away and the actual switch over, I'm done, yay. Um, so that didn't take as long as I thought. It's only 20 past one and I think I started at about 10 o'clock, so only a few hours. This, however, I have not touched yet. So that's the next job to get everything on Depop. Um, but let me just show you the wardrobe now. So you have kind of already seen this, but I've got a lovely and nice big gap here for when I want to buy new clothes, which is great. Lots of spare hangers as well. All my shoes looking nice and organized. And then at the front I have dresses. I just have these hangers, by the way. They're from Amazon and they're just kind of the non-slip black plain hangers. They do snap quite easily though. So that is why I also have these black wooden ones as well for slightly heavier items. So yeah, dresses at the front. Um, I tried to go from light to dark with all different sections. So I've got some nice summer dresses. Um, we've got jumpsuits here as well. And then I've got a whole section for shirts because I have so many white shirts and then a few other ones. And now we have tops. So this section is really quite small just because as you saw in my black chest of drawers, I have a drawer dedicated just to tops. So these are some like long sleeved ones. I have a couple of jumpers here a nice hoodie that I will still wear as the weather gets warmer. And then coming around to the other side, we have trousers, skirts, and shorts. Um, so there's quite a lot here. And again, as you can see, I've just gone from light to dark. And then my blazers, quite a few blazers as well. And I've kept a few jackets out. I've kept my black coat out and obviously trench coats and slightly lighter weight jackets and like dog walking coats and stuff like that. But most of them I have put away. And then down here, trainers and you saw the other side for my heels and sandals. Now, obviously my wardrobe is not that long. Um, in terms of height space just because like I said my bedroom is in the eve so I do have to kind of fold the bottom of like dresses and long coats and stuff which is annoying because then the bottom part gets all um, creased but hey that's what steam is for and then I think I just showed these drawers but anyway I'll do it again uh, my top looking much better and there's plenty of room now um, in all of these spaces so that's really good if I want to add some more things jeans looking a lot better as well quite a few pairs going on my depop and then shorts and a couple of jumpers in here i could probably actually hang them up if i wanted to and then i didn't really do much with this chest of drawers just because i was keeping everything in it um, and i do just like to have my tracksuits out all year round because i wear them constantly So adding all of this to my Depop page actually took longer than the wardrobe switch over itself, but it's all on there now, it's all done, and everything is back in its rightful place. So that is it for this wardrobe switch over video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, it would be amazing if you could give this video a like, and if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed, and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye.